Uh, Peyton joins us now. We have had pretty smooth sailing. A lot of fo folks are putting boats in the water yeah. now. I've seen boats on the highway as they're going back and forth to do their fishing and stuff. So spring is officially sprung. It has. And if my dad happens to have it in his budget and wants to get me a boat for my birthday or Christmas or something, you know, I mean, the lady just Peyton. an idea. The Lady Peyton. Mm -hmm. There it you go. It doesn't sound, sound too bad. It has a nice ring to it. We can I get like you it. a little bottle of Asti Spumante. Perfect. Yeah. You can pop it. Perfect. Let's we'll, go. We'll do it all together. That's I'll have it. you back out for that. Sh that right. We'll do a live show that from that. There. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> let's set the scene for this evening. We have the cloud cover overhead. We've got some peaks of sunshine, but there's a difference in temperature from our Lakeshore counties further south. The Cuyahoga County Airport at 61 degrees, Dover at 71. That's a 10 degree difference from folks a little bit closer to the lake than folks further inland. And you might notice that yesterday we had pretty heightened humidity levels. We had dew point ratings in the 60s. Today, a little bit more comfortable, but the further south you are, the more noticeable maybe the moisture content in the atmosphere is. It's a little dry, though, when it comes to Ashtabula's dew point rating. They're still in the 40s, so that's going to waver here and there, but I think it's only going to pick up as we go through the next couple of days. We have nothing on radar right now. Right now is the buzzword for us because just over my shoulder and zooming you to it through parts of western Ohio right now from Superior down to Defiance. This is closer to Lima south of Toledo. They've got some light showers. These are expected to kind of push themselves further to the east. I think we lose a little bit of momentum as we go through time and the majority of this will actually dig a little bit further to the south. But you can see this overall complex for us. They've got almost full on sunshine through central Indiana right now and not too far off from that almost the entire state of Illinois. So you can can get a little idea as to what's going to happen in the days to come for our immediate forecast. I, I um, a little sunshine for us and your national armor an hour by hour forecast. Here goes that big rain chance for us and the rubble of thunder potential I think is pretty low for us. A few spotty showers overnight. Nonetheless, I think we keep the cloud cover too as all of this starts to move eastward. Temperature is about 5 a.m. tomorrow in the 50s and then we start to become sunny pretty quickly. Our high temperatures for the day going to be in the 60s. I think for the majority of us, the further you are again away from the lake, the warmer it's going to be. I think our lakeshore county counties hold a little cooler and that's because we've shifted our wind direction just a little bit too. I think for the majority of our lakeshore counties, unfortunately, you might be holding it in the 50s. Through time, though, we keep with the sunny sky trend through the day on Wednesday, and we even start sunny, too. So tomorrow's high temperature overall, 63 degrees, becoming sunny pretty quickly. And in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, it includes a holiday. We can't forget about mom. If you've got plans to maybe fix up the yard, maybe put some things in the ground because you've been waiting a little bit, this is almost the time. The next couple of days, or maybe it is um, mowing the lawn, even though Jay declared it no mowing. Oh, May. Um, you have the opportunity in the next couple of days for us. We're near 80 degrees by Friday with those rain chances moving right back in Friday, Saturday, and unfortunately for Sunday. We're back with a little bit more for you right after the break.